Good morning, good morning, good morning. How wanna do? It's a beautiful morning. And today we are checking out some stuff, you know, trying to make some breakfast because we know that tomorrow is gonna be um, a busy day, Thanksgiving day. Many people won't be available to come on live. <coughs> so we're doing some breakfast from today. So it's breakfast live, abbreviated. Yeah. And the wife here, uh, exercise. Sure. See how they exercise? Whoa, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Once again, good morning, good morning to you. Yeah, it's a beautiful morning. So, a couple of weeks ago, I had purchased this and I'd used it in, in some um, of my, my dish. Yeah, and I decided to do this video this morning just to highlight this product. This is... Um, what you call this? This is um, frozen fresh pollock. All right. I could have used cod, but I don't. I didn't find any cod at the time. Good morning to you once again. Let me check if, if, if anybody is talking to me, so that I can say good morning back to them. Right. So good morning, good morning, guys. <coughs> so this morning, this is the product that I want to highlight. Right. It, it says boneless, skinless pollock fillets. And it's it's bought from um, you know this this company out of China, but this is how it comes, frozen and stuff like that, right? It comes frozen, and the whole idea behind it is to use this as my selfish substitute. See there, yeah. And let me just me I gotta start the ball rolling. Pretty much what I'm gonna do with this is. You know how saltfish come and it have a, a ton of salt in it. Yeah, saltfish come with a ton of salt. Well, this product comes with no salt. No salt whatsoever. It's just fresh fish, frozen. Yeah. Um, and you pretty much just wash it. So you're pretty much just gonna wash your, your, your pollock and then use a little bit of lime you know good morning Marcia good morning to you make sure it's not plastic yeah let me check let me check <laughs> uh, it's uh, the company there it's um it has it has a good reputation so far on the US market so you know <clears throat> and I'm taking some lime wag one open Take some lime and make add it to my pot. No, no. You just pretty much want to do that. And the idea behind this is to get this to to um, blanch, right? And come up real quick. In other part there, we have some banana, and we're gonna make banana and fresh um, fish. And the the, the 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 pollock. The thing about this pollock is that it is cheaper than the salted fish. See? It's cheaper than salt fish and it have less sodium, way less sodium than salt fish and it also may have a little bit of a little bit of healthiness, a little bit, you know, because uh, even though salt fish is our national dish and we love it, it has been proven that salt fish, one, increase your blood pressure because of the sodium, two, it has absolutely no nutritional value because the, the the drying process and all of that and so you're basically putting this thing in your body babes you know my ramekins are in the box where is the box yeah you know you just put some stuff in your body where where, where really and truly now help and we have for many years allow the fact that it's our national dish you know aki and saltfish and all of that and and stuff and we allow it to to basically cause us to eat unhealthy you know and so may look substitutes for that because my blood pressure issues in recent times has gone through the roof
and it's not it's not a good thing when you go to the doctor and like for instance the other day i went to the dentist and when i went to the dentist the the, the dentist i said them can't work with me because my blood pressure too high you know how bad that feel them want to send you go emergency room it don't right it's not right at all so i decided that whatever i can do to elevate the situation as in alleviate sorry not elevate alleviate the situation i'm gonna do it and i know there are some folks who are watching me who may be struggling with pressure um hypertension you know and you may want to say yeah um how can i help this situation and this is the way find substitutes for those products that you may we were very well consume that is overly um salty or sodium base like for instance don't eat pack soup and, and um tin soup you know when you look on the can the sodium content in them product there through the roof may i tell you through the roof you know so them something the way if you learn for avoid and thing in our way up in our old age so i'm just putting that on and allowing that to, to come to a boil allowing the water to come to a boil and let me show you what else I am doing now guys you need to tell me hold on what you exercising queen why why she going away <laughs> all right <laughs> <For sure. laughs> 10 10 Neil Taylor drink lime juice drink lime juice that's a good suggestion I won't I won't argue with that suggestion <laughs> all right good morning. so good morning josh the real josh the food lover so i have some little quick ingredients here that i will be what's going on yeah yeah is your mom supposed to be looking at it but she exercising yeah that one so i'm i have a bell pepper here that I'm just I'm just prepping my my vegetables until the the, the water come to a boil and and my my um, fillets. But overall, guys, to to really and truly help with the, the hypertension thing, you know, the less processed foods you consume is the better for you because one of the things that the manufacturers has done is that them really and truly fill the food with salt and and, and, and sugar. What you're seeking to do is to create what is called food addictions. They're not really trying to, to, to make you, you get healthy. They're try to create a, a situation where you become addicted to the food. And by becoming addicted to the food, you will buy it and you will consume it at the, at the risk of your own health. Anything what having too much salt and too much sugar, stand the risk of... See, turn it down, please. Stand the risk of um, creating food addiction. And so... That's what the manufacturers do because if you are addicted to it, you will buy more. You see me? So we have to be careful of the processed foods that we that we do consume. You know, um, with the exception of of um, frozen vegetables, not canned vegetables, frozen vegetables. Frozen ve frozen vegetables have been flash freezed or flash frozen, and as such, it re it remains a little bit better than. The canned one, which has been highly um, sodiumized, in order to make it um, have a longer shelf life, because they use salt as preservative. You know? So, if you take up a can of peas, for instance, and look on the, the the content of the peas, you realize how much salt in a one single can of peas, which it, which we normally thought a can of peas is just a can of peas, but no, them put salt in it, them overly salt the something. You see me? And trick you into thinking that yeah you know you you you're buying something fresh and something good for your body, you see me. So the, that leaves us to always be searching for salt-free um, alternatives to to eating. And because we have become addicted, our taste buds are really and truly gone. We can't really taste the other ingredients them that is in the the meal 
you know, because we have been duped into thinking it's salt. Um, good morning, Beverly. Where's the, where's the Miami big words, them? Janiel. Janiel, man, I don't know big words, but good morning, Beverly. Good morning. Uh, yeah, but a true thing, me attack, you know, a true thing, me attack. So we really and truly have to push a whole heap of effort out in 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 what we what we consume in our bodies. You know, we have to really and truly put out effort. While I'm doing this, the the, the, the fish is, is is coming up nicely. Yeah. Just checking on it over here. I'm not really showing them in our pot still, but me me showing sure what I go on a little bit later. Yeah. And you pretty much just want this, this fish to, 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 to cook. You want the fish to cook. Right? I'm going to wash these now. And the wife is right here with me, but she's she, she doing, she doing one whole part dancing and stuff she do. So you're going to do a live while cooking here. Thanksgiving dinner. Well, me just said to the turkey, you know, Jenny. Just the toast of turkey. Me now I really do no dinner because Thanksgiving is not my thing. Where's I see? I'm just doing the turkey. I'm going to do the Thanksgiving turkey. And I'm going to go live when it's almost done. Because pretty much there's no real hard and fast to doing the turkey. All they are putting in the fridge. I've already done a video of how I season up my turkey. And it's now marinating. And so tomorrow when me almost finish my turkey, I go, go live and, sh and, and wish you guys happy Thanksgiving and show me my turkey, how my turkey look and, and you know, and, and then I'm going to also, see me now I got to carry down the hole, right? Right, so I cut up my turkey and deliver it, you know, because I'm bringing the turkey to the church. Because every year we don't really do Thanksgiving at home. We go to our church and we invite the community to come and eat and them something there. But I, uh, I give thanks, you know, I give thanks on a daily basis. And so the observance of this particular day of Thanksgiving Day is not really a big thing for us, you know. We are grateful to God for his many blessings and we make him know that every morning when we are prayer, morning time, you know. And we normally do our Thanksgiving on the beach. We just go up on the beach, go chill a little bit, spend some time with the family. And usually, as I said before, it's usually an empty beach as it really a void of, free of all um, African-American, you know, or other um cultures only the white people them sometimes go up on the beach when you go up on the beach up here white people because the black people them they want to cook you know cook and then you eat and then you lean back in a chair and you watch some old show and you laugh with your family and then tomorrow the garbage full of uh, 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 um, leftovers and that's your thanksgiving Tan -ta -da -da. yeah <laughs> so we don't normally do it, you know. We just load up the thing, you see. I'm using this little small knife because it's sharp. But normally we use a bigger knife. What should I use in this in this um with this fish see? Aki? Or be it be in our way. Guys, what should I put in this fish? Should I do ackies? Or should I do butter beans? Aki, I'm going to take too long. Butter bean. Yes, girl. I say, I say, I have, some, I have some viewers this way. Just know the lick, you know. Just know the lick. Butter Money bean. Guys. Them see you jerk up yourself. Them did see you know? They really? saw you jerking up yourself Happy over there. Jane, really? Should they jerk up herself like 
she will she she will she have um party dress for wear. She had jerk up herself and try to get um lose weight. You understand? Mm hmm And exercises are suitable for everyone. Before taking a new exercise, take into account. Alright, so may have some time. I'm gonna just put that right there so. So here I have my list of ingredients. I, yeah. And then I have a couple, just some little garlic powder and some little stuff over on the other side. We may add, also add. Um, I have my green seasoning, which I'm going to add as well. And that's in the fridge. And I also have some, some scotch bonnet pepper. Yeah, but again, I keep my scotch bonnet pepper in the freezer, so I'm going to add that too. And the wife got me these ramekins for, for my ingredients because she said it don't look good for have the whole of different, different, um, the whole of different, different container of them. It don't look organized, so she get me these ramekins. Oh, them look, them look nice, don't? And them come with covers so you can cover up a little stuff in them if you leave back anything. Yes, man. Yes. I'm coming, guys. Give me a chance. I may want to work today. And the wife here exercise. So I'm coming. I'm coming. Oh, yes, eh? Oh, yes, My son, you don't know where I do. All right. So here I have my my pollock, fresh pollock, and as you can see, I put them in some boiling water. I didn't add any salt to it. You could have added some salt to this, um, you know, at that stage, at this stage. But this is what you want to achieve. You want them to boil. And when it boils, it becomes flaky. So you just take them out of the boiling water now. And it pretty much cook. Cook already. You know? And this is the preparation that I, I do. I am not saying that it's the only preparation or the best preparation. I'm just telling you what I do. If you have another way of preparing this dish, then certainly go ahead. Do it your way. You know, but I am doing it the way in which I, I envisioned it and I think it may work very well. So you take them out of the, the, the boiling water now. And as you can see, they're flaking up already, breaking apart already. And so you're getting that saltfish vibe already from it. You know, that regular saltfish vibe. And this is the same procedure with saltfish it's pretty much the same procedure which is to rehydrate it as much as possible i'm gonna put some i'm gonna put it on on some um some boiling water now put it underneath some boiling water let me just try and clean up my sink a little bit so i can take shame out of my face make another some boy sent to a sink dirty door you know so i'm just gonna try to clean up the sink a little bit yeah, hold on there, hold on. I'm done going to wear me I clean up my sink and I do all of these little things at the same time. Yeah, because we live in the house. We have, to, we have to take care of the house. Yeah. And the sink is not dirty, guys. I just, the color of the sink. So no, please leave my sink alone, okay? All right. I'm going to put some water on the pollock now. It's an old sink because I'm living in an old house. Some people would put it in ice water. I don't think it's absolutely necessary to put it in ice water. So, I'm bringing me back it over to the table. As you can see, guys, I'm in a small place. If you like what's going on, please give us a thumbs up. We appreciate it. Every gesture is um, helps and goes towards making our channel better. And you want that to cool a little bit.
great, 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 great. I love what's going on. Yeah. And now that you have, you have it at a certain point, you pretty much just want to get in there with your hands and pick out the saltfish. Yeah. See? See? Look there. You just break apart. So you just basically, you know, take it up and transfer it into a, a next bowl. Alright? And you just pick it up like how you pick up regular saltfish. And this at this stage it almost it, it it look exactly like our saltfish look. You know? So you just want to pick it up. Now the cooking process of this is gonna be a little bit tricky because as you can see it is more it's a little bit more fragile than the tough, you know, saltfish, the regular one. Although it breaks apart nicely and it flakes, it still is a little bit fragile. Alright, so what you want to do now is you just pretty much want to get it out of the the water yeah and pick it up i normally never break my saltfish into many bitsy bitsy pieces because you want to really utilize the saltfish you want saltfish in the plate yeah all right there you go let me get rid of this this little water now Great. Alrighty then. Now you're gonna throw a little bit of um where's the cornstarch, baby? Now, in order to make it crispy, you're going to do another thing, another step. All right. And I, this is also a part of my experiment. So bear with me. All right. I'm taking some cayenne pepper and a little bit of my everyday seasoning. You can choose to use what you want to use. All right. And I'm putting it down like such. Then I'm putting down some of the cayenne pepper. Like such. Let me get some salt. I need some salt. And you just want some salt. Regular table salt. Then I'm putting down some cornstarch and this is about made about a tablespoon of cornstarch. Can put a little garlic powder too. Again, this is just me doing my thing. This is not no prerequisite. If you if you don't want to do it, you don't have to do it. Alright? Like how they would season flour to fry fish or yeah and i'm using the cornstarch because the cornstarch have the ability to make the thing get crispy yeah and then you just pretty much drop in some of your thing in it this could have been done in a bag mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. no no i don't know if it got already gone through the gate but you guys get the idea right you get the idea right right all right transfer it back into another plate again this could have been done in a bag and the idea is just to get some of the cornstarch and the, the something to make it crispy when you put it in your in your um yeah you know when you put it in the pot it it, it crispy Bear with me guys, I'm, I'm really making a mess this morning, but I'm working sort of fast, yeah? Alright, so next time you know do it like this, the idea is to achieve this, yeah? Alright, so now I'm going to come over here so I'm going to put my oil on. 
and then try to get this thing done. This one comes see. Yeah, so once you get it to this stage, you're, you're, pretty, you're pretty much set. You know, Drizzle just put every little thing on it the same way. Nice. Nice. This is just pretty much um, what you want. Again, it, this don't, you don't have to do this. This is just me doing it out of my own preference, all right? And then... Now that you have the you have the pot on over here, you know you just want pretty much drop in your saltfish, yeah, and see if you can get your saltfish to, to fry. And it's better to use a non-stick pan so that your saltfish fry nicely. See there, and with the cornstarch on it now, your saltfish is gonna be nice. You know, you want it to get to that stage. Come drop in a couple more pieces, babe. Yes, man. And I'm going to tell you, say, it smells like saltfish too. Mm -hmm. Don't it? Mm -hmm. You know what? We'll give it some saltfish, right? Well, yeah, you could put all this. Yes, what I'm getting at, guys? I think you all get the idea. You know? And you just monitor this little thing right now. All of the rest of our fish is coming. So we just have to add everything to the pot. So even though you don't season it to your own taste and put a little bit of savory seasoning in there, it's not gonna be overly concentrated. Exactly. Salt, like salt so you are gonna add your salt. You know, you not gonna allow the salt to dictate to you. You add your salt. You add amount the amount that you want to use. I mean some people are gonna say it's, it's less it's too much trouble, it's not worth it. But for me, it is perfect because, again, I don't have to contend with the excessive amount of sodium. You know? Yeah. Beautiful. Great. Anything where you find it, we use it. Alright, then the can throw away. See there? And now your job is to just monitor this to the, the level of crispiness that you like. Yeah? Because you know sometimes you eat salt fish and if, especially the pollock is a fish where we, we just mash out in, a, in a, the, the pot and you end up with salt fish flakes. That's not what you want to achieve here. You want to achieve saltfish, you know, that you can take up and, and bite. And I'm gonna, I, and then guys, you see with this now, you can add this to whatever meal you want to make it out. You know, you can put it with aki. You can put it, yeah, you can put it with anything where you want. You understand? You dictate where you cook this with. 
this in there. Them last one I stick up a little bit because them did wet. But it's still working. It's going good. Mm-hmm. How it look guys? If you like what you've seen so far, give me a thumbs up now. Nice. Nice. Beautiful. Look there. Alright, so now we're gonna start nice up the thing now. Yeah. We're adding some garlic. Let's put all this. Oh, may I come? Turn on the fire. Add in some onion. So firm it is. You see it, that me like. It not lose its consistency any at all. Mm -hmm. And I think we could just we could fry it. It's like how they do um. Escovitch. No, like how they do like catfish, couldn't they? Yeah. We fry it that way. Yeah, sure. Like fish and chips. Mhm. Mm how this look, guys? We put escovitch. Watch the, the, the camera and the, the heat. Add in some of that. My green pepper, my bell pepper. Joshua, reach up the sun, take down my butter bean. How this look man? Looking good babe? Very good. Very pretty. I do. Yeah. If you want the more cement so let me know, yeah? Okay. Next come there. For those just joining, this is our fresh Polak. Polak. Polak? Yeah, Polak. 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 Which is what they use to make salted fish sometimes. Robert says looking good. And at the control we have Josh the food lover. A little water coming, I want it burn. Listen to the tune, listen to the tune, <laughs> and then may I add some fresh, some butter bean. Mm -hmm. This is just like saltfish and butter bean back home. Mm -hmm. Minus the salt, minus the salt. Nice, nice, nice. All right, and now I'll add some garlic powder. Oh, Adding my old beer. 
Yes. And old bay is a must, guys. No Trust sleep me. on old bay, guys. It is the bomb. And you notice I'm adding a good amount of old bay. It's because I'm not really add no salt. You see me? Spice and garlic. I didn't like the miracles. Add in some fresh butter. And that's not margarine or butter substitute, that's real butter. Let me the apple cider vinegar. And over here we have some boiled bananas that were boiled in the skin. And the reason why I boil them in the skin is not because I'm lazy. It's just because we're only making green bananas. So usually if I'm making dumplings or yam or potatoes or any other food kind, I wouldn't um, put the, the pe unpeeled banana with those because then it would cause the color from the stain from the banana to transfer to the other food. But because it's banana alone, you're fine. And so, then you'll get more iron. Yeah, it's just easy to peel off this way. Come back. Yeah. Coming together nicely with the color pop. I'm just Guys, want a little gravy now. Remember to give the chef a thumbs up if you like what is going on. Yes. The Thanksgiving Eve breakfast. Turn mm -hmm. up. Give him a thumbs up. Thank you. And if you have any questions for the chef, you may go ahead and I will relay the questions to him. Any questions for the chef? Dropping in some green seasoning. Mm -hmm. It's a little bit late with it, but hey, better late than never. It's fresh, so fine. And the green seasoning, I, I made this myself and I will eventually put the link to the green seasoning in the, um, in the little space of the top. And guys, for those who would like to see how Jamaicans season their turkey, be sure to watch our last video that was posted like two days ago or a day ago. And Scotch bonnet pepper. Sorry. Very interesting. Please check that one out. Scotchy being added to the fire, to the pot. And I add a lot of Scotch bonnet. The wife don't like it, but I, it, it's not that hot when they put it in the freezer. Mm. Hi Josh the Real. Go ahead and give us a thumbs up. <laughs> Alright. Still want a little more juice. Yeah. You gonna put ketchup or no? No, no never that put no ketchup. Ketchup is my middle name. I don't know why. <laughs> Looking good. Cover it a little and um, so it makes some juice. Can you put a link here for us to view the turkey video? Eventually. I put the link, um, but it, it's right there in the description, in, in, the, in, the, in the list. The last, the, the most recent video. So, so if you just click on videos, you will see the, the most recent one. But we will be sure to add the link once this video is edited. I'm just going to clean up that spot here now and then you can start here. 
serving. Oh yeah, where's the cover? Remember this. You have to cover it. It's what I look at. The cover is where the, the jar. cover is. See, I look, it don't look bad. You guys? It don't look bad at all, at all. Look like real food at that, me to tell you. Yeah, trust me. Look real good, look real good. And this morning, we just want to send a shout out to the folks who are, you know, from Jamaica. Jamaican folks watching us. If you're not from Jamaica, I want to send, yeah, want to send you a, a big shout out and thank you for joining us. I know our dialect sometimes is a little bit challenging, but we do our best to keep it you know, as much as possible, um, comprehensive, you understand, um, this morning is Thanksgiving Eve and many, many people out there are, are, are preparing, you know, to, to go home, go celebrate Thanksgiving, to participate in this, um, activity, but I want us to really be mindful of the fact that you, you, your Thanksgiving, is to God, you know, and many times we, in giving thanks and, and, and celebrating the whole Thanksgiving thing, we leave out God out of the equation. We leave out that part, you know. By doing such, you can, you can really and truly say to God, thanks for taking me thus far. Some of us, we don't even remember when last we're hungry. Some of us, we just go in the fridge and we take out food, <coughs> And we eat it and we not even know where you know it come from many of us we, we start to take things for granted take life for granted but god is so good that god has been blessing us and we don't even aware of it sometimes you know some of us say to ourselves boy i'm mean, not see nothing for thankful for but you have life you know you wake up this morning and you're breathing and you're in your right mind relatively because you know say most of we mad but you're in your right mind. And that in itself is good enough reason to say thank you, Lord. You know, I try to make sure that we bring about that level of thanksgiving all the time in our in our homes, in our dealings. Yeah, man. Because you see, most people don't know this, but you, most Americans is just one or two pay, paycheck away from being homeless, you know. Go ahead and share. You want to bring it over here and share it? Put the plate down yeah most of us are just one or two paycheck away from being homeless and so if we don't really and truly get up and, and put out the work and if something happened to us and we lose the job we're homeless <laughs> we are homeless out there battling and struggling and fighting so this morning well on the babes don't do nothing yet let me, let me show the thing now this morning we really have to say thank you to God for his many many blessings yeah thanks to God for them big banana there banana the big door some super banana go ahead now thank you thank you for the to the turkey there <laughs> Rosemary said just time the pot again <laughs> yeah you know <laughs> no, meaning you, you, you disappear till the pot ready emerge when the, <laughs> the plate ready for share yeah nice 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 Who? just tie the pattern and the wifey dance <laughs> you am craving body now <laughs> and you put some juice on it some juice down on the plate now i have no whole of juice still because you know this this let me tell you main, mainly you want to eat enough oil with this you know and then you won't crush the banana so yeah so you want you, you want to put enough oil in this and that are the problem this this have to have the proper oil for, for, for really work the thing but true me never want come my wife is really and truly is very health conscious she afraid of oil in them something <coughs> you know how this look guys how that look Take that. delicious yeah i saw the thing said it's a morning thing you know morning thing you know breakfast thing you know 
Yeah, yeah man, look on the salt fish. Or the salt, the pollock, without no salt. Yeah, you see me? That's how you do a breakfast and make it nice. Three banana, you know more than three banana with them mountain banana, yeah? You see me? And you just make your thing just nice and... Yeah, may I tell you? The thing look good. Yes, man. At the breakfast that, you know? And I really and truly thank you guys for joining us this morning. I know you have a billion things to do to prepare for Thanksgiving. But yet, here you are, participating in our breakfast live and celebrating with us. So we appreciate love it. Wopton said it look good. Rosemary said yes. Oh, it look. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. But I promise you, less salt to your palate. Great tasting food. Yeah? The butter bean them just say, hello. See that? Okay. Is it me you're looking for? Yeah. See that? And I promise you guys, the more we do it, the more I'm going to get it down pat and make it be nicer and more and more blend, more and more sweeter, and more and more, you know, everything. Yeah. And make sure you say, we love it. Yes, man. Join me again. You know, tomorrow me I go do the, the, the turkey. So me I go just pop in for a little bit, you know. And uh celebrate with you guys a little bit more. Yeah, Thanksgiving. But until then, see that a great way to substitute salt for fresh. Yeah, yard the belly TV. Don't go nowhere. Stick and stay. Yes, man. I saw the thing set. Once again. Big up on yourself and join me again in the kitchen for another great dish. Yard and fire, kick up. And mommy tell you. Good morning, Sharon Weir. Decided to shout you up. Blessings to you, girl, up there in Hartford, Connecticut. Big up to you. Appreciate it a lot. And uh, yes, God is good. Have a wonderful, wonderful day with you and your family. And thank you so much, Sharon. We appreciate it and love you guys for support all these years. And we're doing our best, yeah? And we hope to just keep spreading love and joy and peace and happiness to everywhere where we go. Yeah, because that's the whole purpose of mankind, to love one another and to show love and spread love. Yeah, man, and that must be all the time. And we quick, quick meal this. Everything is done in under hour. Yeah? So we big up and we thank you for all your support and thing and thing. Manners and respect. Teniel, good morning to you. Have a wonderful day. And be blessed, each and every one. Remember to check out the shop now page. Yeah, click on it and buy a t-shirt or a hoodie or a sweater. Buy something from your belly for like a $19, $20. Yeah, some t-shirt for some, some hoodies for $30. And then price the competitive price, good price and have a nice design. And I might design them when we sit down and design out and make it look good and thing and thing. And we really a, a crave your support. Yeah, now times get cold. Josh the real wear him sweater go school every day. Every day I'm wearing sweater go school. So there's a shop now button underneath the video. Click on it and just go through, scroll through and see if you like anything. And buy something. Remember me tell you. Alright then.